What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, everybody? This your man, Dre Mag, coming to you again with another episode of the Dre Mag Show. 7.30 in the morning, Central Time, 8.30 on the East Coast. And the first thing I want to say is, uh, before we even get anything started, is prayers to the people in Baltimore um, with the um, bridge collapsing on yesterday. Very, very, very um, tough to watch that. but my prayers and condolences go out to the people who lost their lives in Baltimore. Um, very tough. So I wanted to start that off. Uh, hopefully you guys are happy. Hope you guys are ha- healthy. Shout out to my man Heavy Gan over at the Heavy Gan channel. Today I'm going to discuss Peter Parker no more. The new rumors that Spider Man 4. Will, pe- will feature more Spider-Man and very less Peter Parker. So we're going to talk about that. That is a story from CBR that I'm going to discuss today. Um, then discuss some things that we talked about on the Blurred AF on last night. You know, so make sure you guys are checking out the Blurred AF on sa- on 7 o'clock on mondays every monday so you already know how we do it the real question is all right all right all right uh all right, so who is all in the house? Give me just a second. Who is all up in here so far? Junior Network, good morning. And Prince said it, good morning, good morning to y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, Again, I don't know. And shout out to everybody who's watching on X2. I don't know if you watched that bridge collapse, uh, but there was like one or more. That's my fear. Not even going to lie. I do not like going over bridges of water, man, I'm, that's my big, if I had a fear, it's the biggest fear of falling into some, first of all, I can't swim. So falling in off of a bridge, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You know what I mean? Um, so to see that and knowing the structure was weak in the first place that all you had to do is have a, uh, a tanker hit it, you know, um, and it's it collapses crazy, crazy, you know. So, like I said, my condolences and everything, uh, for you know, it's just horrible for the people in Baltimore. That's very horrible, you know, for them to go through that, you know what I mean? So, uh, Lord, her mercy. What is this thing? Okay. Nah, I need to go back. But yeah. So, yeah, man, it's crazy. It's crazy. All right. So, yesterday, of course, we had the blur they have. Um, we had a controversial subject um, on yesterday where we were discussing Diddy. And I brought up the fact that I seen the R. Kelly tape and told the story on how I seen it. And what's so funny, because I'm a, I've always been transparent, but what kills me about this is that, you know, I could tell my story on how, because it ain't like I came, I you know, actively looking for the tape. It ain't like, oh, man, you know, anybody selling that tape? You know what I mean? And... Um, and what people's response was like, I, like I said, this is 2001. This ain't like the days of the like, like how it is now. You know, you got the dark web, all of that. People in the hood 
was rolling pass around making dubs of R. Kelly's sex tape, you know, at that time. And like I said, nobody said, hey, man, I'm glad y'all didn't get shot. They was like, oh, you just watching child, you know? I'm no, no, that was not it. We was not sure. That was not what we were actively doing. All of us was, I'm going to lie, I'm not going to lie. A lot of people that was actively curious to see if that was really R. Kelly. That's what they were watching it for. You know what I mean? Uh, but the way people respond now, you know what I mean? It's wild because they always want to put an allegation to you. You know, oh, y'all over here just, you know, actively trying to watch so and you know what I mean? Like, nah, man, don't do that. Don't do that. You know what I mean? And then what's funny is that Dave Chappelle makes the jokes about it, you know, in the Chappelle show, everybody laughs. You know, um, the Boondocks make a, a parody of it, make a whole entire parody of this. Everybody laughs, it's funny games. I say dude came in with an AK-47. You know what I'm saying? That was the same size as him and was like, hey, you want to watch the tape? Uh, yes, sir. Whatever you say. And nobody, and, and all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. Nobody said, hey, man, thank God you didn't get, you know what I'm saying? Dude, they shoot you. We only came around tripping. You know what I mean? So it's just wild to me how this day and age, how we respond to stuff, how we look at stuff. And how we want to put a caveat on a person's story or whatever. I, you know, it's 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 funny because you know I'm always going to try to be as transparent as long as I'm just not getting into all my business. I ain't gonna tell y'all all my business. But if I got a story to tell you and it's true, I ain't gonna tell you no lies on the story. It is what it is. You know what I mean? And trust me, I make it a point when I'm telling this story. Because I find, because the way that the way that that story went, if y'all didn't watch last night, if you talking about Diddy, of course, I'm not gonna say Diddy's guilty or innocent, but the streets have been talking for a very, 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 very long time, you know. And I just said, well, he doesn't have a tape like R. Kelly, but Cassie does have tapes, so if those tapes get passed around, won't be a surprise. You know what I mean? And that's how you know when I made my decision, because I, I don't listen to R. Kelly or any of that. I ain't listened to R. Kelly in years because I seen the tape. There's nothing else that you could possibly tell me after I seen what I seen. You know what I mean? So I don't fool with dude. You know what I mean? I haven't fooled with dude. And I have love. There's certain songs that R. Kelly got that I absolutely love. Don't play it. Don't play it. Don't put it in my car. Don't put it on my playlist. None of it. Same thing with Mystical. Mystical is one of my favorite rap artists of all time. But man, after the first one, okay, I, you know, and maybe the second and third time, dog, how do you get keep putting in that situation? You know what I mean? Now, people can say the same thing. It's like, oh, well, you still listen to Michael Jackson. Well, the FBI investigated Michael Jackson, couldn't find a sprinkle, no nothing. They literally raided this man Neverland Ranch. Y'all forget that. And the you know the people the ch the children that was part of the extortion is FBI knew that the, the the parents were distorting you know uh, Michael Jackson for money. So this is a totally different subject. You know what I mean? With this R. Kelly thing, there's there's a reason why Homeland Security is a raid in this dude's house handcuffing his kids though over something that that dude is dead is done and again the streets have been talking for a very long time so just like r kelly there was rumors of r kelly going up to you know to his old high school dog you a celebrity what are you doing going up to your old high school in chicago for and you're not going in to to to, to teach people music theory either you know so that's my that was my point and it just kills me to this you know this day and age that you can say something and people will take what you say and try to toss you down the hill and that ain't what's cracking you know what i mean so i wanted to clarify talk about that before i get started um with 
you know, this Peter Parker story, this uh Spider-Man, Spider-Man 4 story. But what do y'all think, man? You know, am I tripping? Maybe I should just shut shut up. Maybe I should not talk, say anything anymore about about the stories that I have because it just seems like nowadays, if somebody tells the truth, y'all try to find any and every way to try to downplay it or whatever until the actual truth comes to light. And then y'all like, well, just like Cat Williams. Cat Williams was like, sometimes you got to tell Diddy no. And then look where we at now. So, yep, that's all I got. You know what I'm saying? So, again, hopefully you guys are having a good morning. Good morning to Gray, who's stepping here. My admin, what's up? Roberta is in the house. Good morning, good morning, good morning. D Stizzle was up in the house. You know what I'm saying? What's up? I've been knowing, I've been knowing uh, uh, Michael Jackson is innocent. You... Dude, dude is way, if you had a childhood, like the way that he had a childhood, yeah, there's no way I could ever see him harming anybody. You know what I mean? But the chickens is coming home to roost. Um, you know, so, uh, hold on real quick. Give me, j golly, I can't spell. Just a second here, getting this together. You know, I tried to watch Ma Madam Web last night. I tried to watch it on some uh, other other sources. Why did that mug go literally like two, no, 28 seconds and would not let me watch it again. <laughs> that was like, we're, even even the bootleg sites is like, we're not going to let you watch this, dog. We were, you know, we're not going to let you watch this. Because I just refuse to pay. They got to drop that price. I refuse to pay $20 to rewatch that. And I will rewatch it because there is it's something about that movie. I don't know. It's it's a, almost it's so good. It's bad. You know, part of that movie that I, I'm intrigued about. And maybe that's just me. You know what I mean? But, you know, it is. It has, it's so good. It's bad. But the bootleg site wouldn't let me watch it. So, you know. Hey, what's going on? Elfie Burke is in the house. What's going on? You know, I've been uh, in enough federal court cases to know I'll wait for the evidence that's presented in trial. Diddy is guilty, fine. He should go to jail, but I'll wait and see. The government loves a pre trial period, and that's very true. And for me, it, it, you know, talking about the whole Diddy thing, if he was really, it, to me, he would have got arrested when they had him outside of the court i mean outside of the i think there's the airport of, of you know being grounded when he was just walking outside last night when we were looking at the uh the tmz video last night uh so there's more to this to me the eye um to me it doesn't seem like a like an epstein thing because the epstein island thing what completely crazy story but it connected so many different people to that. You know what I mean? Um, that dude needed to go down, you know, with the Diddy parties and stuff, because I've been hearing that for years, you know, um, that's something that, you know, you grown and get invited to a Diddy party. It, it is. But when you start talking about the sex traffic, the sex trafficking thing, and Diddy's a part of that, I believe he would have got arrested last night if that was truly the case. But again, they're building and pending the case against that guy, you know? So, yeah, and it's a definite such word, but it's, yep, no arrests. Yep, that's very true. Notice no news yet of an arrest uh, was issued. Definitely a search warrant was. So what I wonder, what, I'm wondering what they were trying to find in if, um, if it is true that Cassie uh, had all of these videos and she's a part, she done gave them something. I don't know. You know, this just came, this literally kind of came out of the blue, you know? So we'll see on Diddy. Um, and, you know, again, I'm waiting. Like I said, I've heard stuff for years, for years, but again, you know, my whole big thing is 
let's see what let's see let's see what the investigation is and if there's if they would if they was going to arrest uh diddy they would arrest him last night they would arrest him yesterday so again this is not like an epstein thing you know but we'll see how this goes i don't know so all right uh i know a lot of people don't they, just like this it's almost like you know the candace owens uh being fired you know, um, a lot of people was like, ha ha, good for Candace. But the bigger picture, I've always, I always look at the bigger picture. You know, with Candace Owens, did she say a lot of, a lot of stuff, you know, that, you know, people felt that, you know, was harmful to the black community or, you know, harmful to our plight and sided on one side, you know, you can say that. I never followed her to the point where I'm I dissected all of her information like that. You know, do I say that she says some things that could be harm that could be deemed harmful? I could say that. Do I uh, did, can I say that she says some things could, that I could deem to be helpful? I could say that too. Cuz she she has said some things that I'm like, I would say I don't believe that. And I, she's also said some things was like, I understand where you're coming from. You know, but the celebration where you're not looking at the big picture is where I had the problem at, which you can celebrate, you can do whatever you want to, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not telling nobody to do what they don't want, you know, to, to do what I think they should do because humans, human beings are going to do human things. You know what I mean? So I'm not, I, you know, I'm not mad about what people do, whatever. You know what I mean? Because if I come in and be the police of that, then, you know, whatever. What I'm looking at is the bigger picture. Okay, Candace Owens got got fired for anti-Semitic thought, uh, Semitic quotes or whatever she said or rhetoric. Ben Shapiro comes out, he says all this spill or whatever. My biggest thing was this: when black people get talked about in hurtful, uh, hurtful ways, just like the the investor, the the active investor, you know, or uh, for for Disney comes out and say why do i have to watch an all black cast don't say you know it's nothing wrong with it or whatever but why do i got to see an all black cast and black people continuously getting put down and 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 bigoted words or whatever gets said to them nothing never happens i'm still waiting for the anti-black bill to get passed nothing never happens but you say one thing about a certain a, a certain group of people and it's world war three and that's what I got a problem. That's the bigger picture. Just like the bigger picture of Giant the Majors, not Giant the Majors. Did he do something or did he not do something to this young woman? It's the structure or how it happened. The police falsely arresting this dude after he called the police. The Al Alvin Bragg in his office and what they did, and, and, and this is not the only thing that they have done to a black man. And the way the court, the kangaroo court system happened in Manhattan. You know, so yeah, this is a big win for the victim. How? It's a reckless, it's a reckless assault and a misdemeanor violation. Why didn't you offer a plea deal like you did with Kevin Porter Jr. to John the Majors? You know what I mean? So there's bigger pictures to things that, you know, not, you know, it's not just surface level. So in this picture, it could be Diddy. You could say, well, Diddy's getting arrested, or whatever, but the whole sex trafficking thing, that's the bigger picture. Who is all involved in that that's beyond Diddy? Just like Jeffrey Epstein. So we have to look at the bigger picture. Yes, the, you know, you look at the you look at the, the the meat of the story. Like I know you guys are talking about uh I'm uh I, I I let anybody defend. I'm not defending Candace. I'm not defending Diddy. I'm not defending anybody. What I'm saying is is that it's beyond the surface level of the story. You have to start looking at the bigger picture of the story, but like, why does they get to do this? But when I say something that has to deem why it's wrong for my people, we don't get anything. Nothing happens. That's the bigger story. You see what I mean? So that's what we got to look at. Just like Jonathan Majors, just like all these other stories, you got the surface level, but there's certain there's a there's an overtone of a story that you guys need to start checking out because if you don't, 
you know, they they continue to do it because they're they, you know they're no they know that you're not paying attention to the bigger store. That's what I'm trying to point out. So, um, so uh, again, put your comments in, in the comment uh, section below. You know, if you um if you're watching this on a replay, put it in the comment section below. What do you think uh, about what we're talking about uh, here? Uh, let me see. D says, "Oh, I've been a huge Spidey fan." Spidey fans, so watching Man of Web is like watching uh, Wakanda and friends, but never to be. <laughs> uh, they don't have the same energy for Weinstein, Brian Peck, uh, Danny Madison, or others. It, that's very true. Very true. Uh, there are some things that Candace said recently that I agree with. For the most part, she panders to a certain demographic at the expense of laying on thick old black folks. You know, but I also I also believe too because I I understand what. Uh, uh, what you're saying on there. I also, to add on to that, I also believe at times we listen to respond. We don't listen for understanding when it comes to people. What we do sometimes, we hear something and we get triggered on what we don't like and we all automatically, rah, 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 son of a, you know what I mean? We automatically go straight defensive and not try to get an understanding of what someone is saying. And I was listening to Rizla Islam uh, the other day, and he was like, "Hey, it would be, you know, he was uh, he was on a podcast. I was like, hey, it'd be nice for you to talk to uh, Candace Owens.'" And the way that he responded was amazing because I, I, you know, this is a approach that I take. You know, first of all, no matter no matter what, no matter what, that's still our people. It's almost like that episode of the Boondocks of the R. Kelly trial. He said, at the end of the day, this is still our people and we got to love it. We don't, we don't got to like what they, what they do or the rhetoric, but that's still our people. So we try to find an understanding of why they do that. Now, we might not agree, but I'm not going to sit up here and give off this same and just bash, 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 bash. There's certain people that I do not like at all. There's certain YouTubers that I do not like at all. Point blank, period. No matter what, I just I don't like them. But what I won't do is sit up here and just go on a bash, bash, bash. And these are people that's, that's the same complexion as me. What I won't do is just go in and just bash them, bash them, bash them, bash them, because I try to get an understanding of the of the why they think like that. Maybe it's because I was a psych major in college, but I try to get to to this. Okay, I can understand why i might not agree with it i might put them over to the side over here because i don't like the rhetoric but i understand what they're doing you know um i made a video about uh, uh, tommy sotomayor uh you know a couple years ago do not like his rhetoric whatsoever you know but do i, I do i do i understand where he's coming from in a in, in a hurt point of view when you when you're hurt or you have some type of trigger or trauma, you know, in your life, I see why you act like that. So it's more of the psychological aspect of it than just me just looking at what they're saying and be like, oh, rah, 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 and just going on a defense because I'm triggered about what they're saying and I just don't want to hear it. And when people don't, especially black people, we got it bad. When we don't want to hear it, we'll call you everything, uh, under, you know, under the sun instead of trying to get an understanding of where you're coming from. It's just part, uh, you know, part ways. We, we we talked about that last night with uh with, with Country Wayne and Godfrey. Country Wayne heard his name and went straight defensive. So there must be, you must hear this a lot that people don't think you're funny. Or you must hear a lot that people don't think that, you know, that you take comment, you know, you're not a real comic because you started off doing videos. You know what I mean? And that's a trigger for him. You know what I mean? So he went straight defensive because he's now triggered, even though Goffey was not talking about this man whatsoever in a negative or like you're triggered. So obviously there is a hint of truth to, to what you feel because you wouldn't have responded in that way if there wasn't a hint of truth to that. So again, you know, when Candace was saying her stuff, there, it might be a hint of truth to certain things that she might say that trigger people and we immediately turn it off. Or maybe she is pandering. We don't want to hear that either. But a lot of people pander to us from either side. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican. 
people pander people pander to their audience people don't like to be truthful this is why certain people blow up because they pander to their audience there's a lot of people you could talk about you know uh you know you got the red pill guys that was out here pandering to a certain demographic of men you have the pink pill women who was uh pandering to a certain a certain demographic of women you have people that pander you have people who know damn well they go to these movies, which I'm getting ready to talk about Spider-Man. They go and watch these movies and tell you that it's the greatest thing that they ever saw to pander to you because now their boss who gave them a ticket to go watch this movie on the red carpet is saying, hey, I need good press. So I need you to go out there. So they go out. They tell you how good the movie is and this is that. And it's just so exciting or whatever. Knowing damn well that they don't feel like that. Because they have an audience to pander to. You see what I mean? It is what it is. So we all pander. Some of us pander, you know, pander so we can be able to get stuff, stuff done. You know what I mean? And sometimes pandering is good. Because you got to go to a copy. So yeah, I'm going to say certain things to pander to my audience. That's my audience. You know what I mean? Whether you believe it or not. You know what I mean? And... You have that. Now, you have to decipher as a person if the pandering is to a point where it's detrimental. Some people thought Candace Owens was detrimental, so that's why they don't listen to her. Some people think Al Sharpton is detrimental. Some people think this person is detrimental and that part. That's the human side. That's what makes us human. You know what I mean? And if we're willing to listen to certain people's politicians, you know what I mean? Um, people on YouTube that that so uh, you know that that talk about movies and all this of the stuff that we do. You know what I mean? But you know, kind of like what D Sizzle said, if that's what you want to roll with, you gotta make sure that you are riding tough. Don't jump off the bandwagon now. You know what I mean? Don't jump off the bandwagon now. That's what you roll with. You gotta stick with it. You know what I mean? So. All right, let's get to some of the comments today. We're going to get to uh, to the rumor. All right, um, I think that she must have accomplished what the Palm people wanted her to accomplish. Now, uh, now could let her go. A lot of Latino community have led Biden, and I can see that. I can see that. I understand, but I, uh, but like, in in that, that's true. I let her do. I don't. I don't let nobody do anything. I let people do with and make. A decision for themselves. Uh, when George Floyd passed, she immediately came out and said he wasn't no saint, uh, which was tasteless after how he died. And I watched that. I, I was on a podcast. I watched a documentary uh, of a guy um, uh, that I'm cool with. You know, the, it, it again, I listened to that documentary. I did a response to it. Uh, who Jesus. It was hard. I understood what she was trying to do, but everything is timing. Everything is timing. And the timing was real, real, real wrong. Real wrong for that. For that type of for that type of response. You know what I mean? So uh there are some things that Kansas said recently I agree with the motherfucker she pitched. I I think I read that, but but yeah, but you know, this is again, you reap what you sow. You know what I mean? You reap what you sow. So you have to be careful about what you put out there in the zeitgeist. You know what I mean? So Spider-Man. All right. What's going on, Tracy Woods? So, again, you know, that's just my thoughts. To, just to make a long story short and a short story long. You know what I mean? So, kind of cover that and, and let you know kind of how I felt about that. All right. Uh, let's get to the main topic here. Uh, is this good or bad for the Spider-Man franchise when you're taking away the aspect of Peter Parker, which that is a rumor. The rumor is... Spider-Man uh, could take a back seat. Peter Parker, I'm sorry, could take a back seat. Um, so let's get to the story. And this is by Carla Hicks said, rumor, Spider-Man 4 is to see Peter Parker take a back seat. A new rumor, a rumor for Spider-Man 4 claims that as Peter Parker lives on, Peter Parker would, as Spider-Man lives on, Peter Parker would take a back seat, fade from existence. Wow. Are they really, are they really putting the spell on the, uh, the, the spell on us? Let's see. Uh, while plot details for the project are under wraps, a new rumor for Spider-Man 4 declares that Peter Parker might become less prominent in his alter ego life. 
per cosmic circus, not the cosmic circus again, Lord have mercy. Okay, I'm taking this rumor with a grain of salt because the Cosmic Circus is the one who said that they recast, um, uh, they recast Kang last year when all of the stuff was going down with Jonathan Major. So I'm taking this really with a grain of salt. Part of the Cosmic Cir uh, Circus insider Alex Perez shared this claim about Spider-Man Four when asked about Tom Holland, Sp or Tom Holland Spider-Man. Uh, specifically uh, what Peter Parker would be like moving forward in a Discord Q&A section. Perez replied that Peter's first trilogy, a trilogy was all about establishing his origin in the MCU. And after a lengthy recap of his appearances, stated that, uh, that this all leads to the next chapter in his story. The idea now moving forward is to give him a sense of independence, Perez continued. In his mind, Peter Parker is no more, but Spider-Man lives on. Since he has either lost or detached himself from everyone he's ever loved, all he has to keep him going is be a Spider-Man, uh, whether the city loves him or not. Uh, and as the title of Spider-Man continues to consume Peter's life, little by little, Peter Parker would take a backseat and continue to fade from existence slowly. This story point could be compared to Robert Patterson's uh, Batman in The Batman. As of now, neither Marvel or Disney has confirmed this, so it should be taken as a grain of salt, like I said. All right, so with this, you know, my thing, it, 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 exactly, that's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. It sounds more like a Spider-Man 2, the Spider-Man 2 video game, more than it sounds like something that's based in the realm of the MCU, because as much as you can say that, Spider-Man is still, I mean, Peter Parker is still an intricate part of, of Spider-Man. You know what I mean? Sorry, I was thirsty. I need some of that green tea with honey. But Peter Parker is always, it's Peter Parker Spider-Man. You have to tell the story of Peter Parker being broke, not being able to pay rent, getting fired from jobs, all of that, which they did. Now, I can say that they did that way better in the Sam Raimi version of Spider-Man than they did in the Andrew Garfield. Now, I will say Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man was a lot more, spy it's more like Spider-Man, especially from the 80s. Or you could say the Mark Bagley version. You know what I mean? Um, but as far as... You know, the Peter Parker struggling has always been what I liked about the uh the Raimi, the Raimi versions, you know, uh of Spider-Man. Uh you said bad boy straight, uh might have to do that. Hopefully y'all don't get a copyright strike. Uh <laughs> or copyright claim. But I'll check, I'll do I'll do it after we talk about this. Uh you said uh Tom is a four or five action Spider-Man, uh live action Peter Parker, but definitely not the last exactly. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? So, my biggest thing is, is this good for the Spider-Man? If you, if, if Peter Parker, if that's just like, to me, that sounds more like what they did in uh, the uh, Man of Steel. Clark Kent wasn't really, what made Clark Kent, Clark Kent wasn't really there in Man of Steel. And that's the only reason why I don't really like Henry Cavill's Superman. I like him as Superman. I don't like him as, as Clark Kent. He never gave off Clark Kent vibes to me. Like how they always did with um, the Christopher Reeves one, which I rewatched uh, Superman, um, the is it Superman two the Donner Cut or Superman one the Donner Cut? Uh, rewatched that, and you know his um, his his version of, of of Superman is I mean is of Clark Kent is amazing. It is amazing, and I've always wondered like, well, why didn't they never do that again? Why didn't they ever, you know, bring that version, you know, of of Clark Kent back into into Disney? I think that's what uh, what uh, 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 James Gunn is planning on doing. We'll see if he plans on doing that. But that is a way, like the way that I look at it. If you don't, if, if Peter Parker is not Peter Parker, then it's not Spider Man. You know what I mean? So if Spider Man is not struggling. It is not a Spider-Man movie. You know what I mean? I understand, you know, you want more action. You more want more 
want this, that, and the other. But if this, if Spider Man is not there, if Peter Parker is not there, then uh, I don't know. I don't, you know, I'm not for it. That's just me personally. I'm not for it. But what do you guys think? Uh, is this good or bad for the Spider Man franchise? Um, do, would you like for him to uh, be more? you know, of the Spider-Man that you, uh, that you, you know, uh, with the Peter Parker, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, since you guys said, uh, that, uh, the Bad Boy 2 trailer came out, let me just see, let me just see, oh, Bad Boys 4, I mean. Let's see if, uh, we pull it up. But that's not that's not it. Um, um I don't see a trailer. Let's see. Are you sure about that, Greg? Because I'm I'm looking right now. I'm on YouTube. One was like three months ago. It don't even look real. It just looks like in a, yeah. Yeah, there's a first look, but there's, and that was two weeks ago, but there is not a Bad Boys trailer that just dropped. Where did you see that drop at, all Gray? It was on X. All right, let's go check it. Uh... If you see it, did you tag me in it? Oh, there we go. It's right on discussing films. All right. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. We got we got Martin. Okay, let's just let's just do it. Let's do it. Let me go and uh let me share my tab real quick. Let's do it. Let's see. Bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? And name for saying you don't get no shake. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Bad Boys trailer is coming out right now. Right now. Right right now. Yeah, right, right now. Right now. Right now. Check it out. It's hot. Come on, Mike. Slow down. We are late. My stomach, Mike. I need a ginger ale. <laughs> Uh, get a ginger ale and nothing else. I know those dogs fresh for the man yesterday. Oh, uh, well, I'm about to give me one. Put some relish on that motherfucker. Open the register. Stay right there. Mm -mm. Is that Skittles on the counter, Marcus? This ain't mine, yeah. Mike. Yes, it is. Shut the fuck up. Marcus, get in the car. He has a gun to my head. Want to deal with him? You want to deal with me? Sorry, sir, but I gotta go. <laughs> Call 911. That's one, already true. <laughs> Hey, Reggie, did you eat my snacks? No, sir. You ate my snacks, didn't you? You need to get a job. I'm a U.S. Marine, sir. Well, then you need to deploy. Dad, look. We now have evidence that the late Captain Conrad Howard of Miami PD was working directly with drug cartels for years. <laughs> Captain Howard is being what? framed. Let's go. What the hell? He's texting us from the other side. No, he's not, Marcus. If he's seeing this, I'm probably dead. Fuck! Fuck this! Mm. Fuck them all! I don't know how high up this shit goes, but I don't trust anybody. You're my bad boys. Now clear my name. You should be careful. They're being set up, detectives. Whoa! We got two suspects, Lowry and Burnett. They're armed and dangerous. In five, four. Well, I'm getting a copyright strike on this. Good. Y'all are some terrible fucking fugitives. What is going on? I mean, man, <laughs> bad boy. I got this. What you don't do? Uh, 
Are y'all still in our clothes? Just because we black, we still in your shit? Mm -hmm. What? Look at your shirt. <laughs> Why don't you sing us a little Reba song? Oh, uh -huh. Reba. Sing your favorite. Uh, I'm a woman. I'm a strong, I'm a strong black woman. Strong. Yeah, because she's not black. Yes. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? That ain't no Reba song. It's from her mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. So that is the bad boy. Thank you, <laughs> uh, Gray, for because it wasn't on. I'm about to say it was not on, um, not on Twitter. They dropped it on X. Well, <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute, yo, <laughs> yo, they play it. They play it. Why they say that? Uh, older, uh, older Martin Lawrence look like Chuck E. Cheese. Wow, it, it, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you. The whole entire time I'm, I'm watching this, it did give me Bad Boy One and Two vibes, especially a lot of Bad Boys One. It felt like you know, Bad Boys the first one. You know what I mean? Um, it looks. I'm not gonna lie, it, it looks good though. It looks good. I'm probably gonna get a copyright strike. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get a copyright strike uh for this. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh there's another a tree, uh the spider within a spider verse story. Hold up. Wait, now I gotta show y'all again. I gotta show y'all something else. Cause cause uh this is this is all this is all great fault. <laughs> this is uh I didn't even know that this was dropping. Yeah, ba definitely bad boys too. You know what I mean? A lot of but but a lot of the a lot of the scenes g gave me one one vibe too. But this is I guess this is this is something also. Let's go check this out. Um this is a Spider-Verse story. Let's check this out. Come on, interwebs. Yeah, they did. I'm glad they brought uh, Reggie back. I didn't even do a thumbs up, but get the thumbs up, get the likes up. They shouldn't strike anyone. Sony needs all the help they can get nowadays. Ah, oh, don't do this. It was just working. In a Hold up. Hold up. In a world where heroes can be consumed this, by their own fears. Is this real? A new animated short takes you on a journey through the depths of Spider-Man's mind. Wow. As the pressures of being Spider-Man reach their breaking point, teen angst takes a terrifying turn. Wait a minute, what? Is this real? Is this even real? Yo, is that real? It it did not. Uh, I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one because I mean that was coming from. But this this clip, which is not let me play now. You know what I'm saying? Is um. They keep buffering. They let me play that long ass uh, other other video, but you know, I I didn't hear anything about about that. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, that's a that it, it's a short or whatever. Okay. You are late again. You're not reaching your full potential. Unacceptable, Miles. 
Are you okay, son? What is... This one looks more legit. Watch the full short on YouTube tomorrow. We're going... Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't know if that's real. I don't know if it's real, but it said watch the full short on tomorrow, so... But what do y'all think about this stuff, man? This is this stuff looks crazy. Uh, the Bad Boys trailer, not gonna lie, that looks that looks awesome. The Bad Boys trailer looks awesome. It looks like fun. It looks like they're going back to having fun again. You know what I mean? It looks uh it looks like they're having fun all over again, which is good. We need more fun movies. Uh but yeah, what do y'all, what do you guys think? You know, put it in the comment section below. I'm probably going to get a copyright strike for this. But, I, you know, it, yeah. It's just sometimes, like, I don't know. I don't know. But, the, like I said, the Bad Boys trailer does look dope, though. It does look dope. All right. We got anything else. Anything. It premieres in 23 in 23 hours yeah exactly exactly all right let me check oh no let me check it real quick well you're right it is real all right i just wanted to make sure it was real because uh uh some people are doing be doing the full you know you could do anything on the internet <laughs> you could do anything on the internet so you know i just wanted to make sure that it was uh it was a real trailer it looks like a, it is a real trailer you know what i mean and again i'm excited about now i'm uh you know, I'm excited about that bad boy. I'm I'm a I'm a big 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 fan. You know what I'm saying of uh, that bad boys franchise. Anyway, I've watched every movie. I used to watch Bad Boys one and two. All oh, I'm talking about play it up when I first got surround sound system. Played it loud. You know what I mean. So I've always been a huge fan. I'm always been a huge fan of it. So to see this, you know, even when, even when, you know, uh, Will smack Chris, you know, Chris, you know, I still don't think, you know, just like Jonathan Majors, you don't lose your career because you make a mistake. But, you know, I'm glad this movie is dropped. It looks fun. It looks good. Can't wait for it. All right. What do you guys think? You already know what time it is. You know what I mean? Uh, not too much in the, in, in the headlines, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the trailer reaction and all of that. Yo, the sign is real simple, B. It says wrap it up. Wrap that shit up, B. All right, it's time to wrap it up. All right, it's time to get up out of here. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Drake Mac Show. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you can never, ever, ever Miss one of my videos again until next time. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace and vibe hard, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Where is my outro at? Let's get up out of here, man. It's time to go. It's time to get something done today. Wait a minute. You're telling me the video's over? What? Huh. Okay, I guess so. If you have came to this portion of the video, thank you so very much for sticking to the end. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you never miss one of my videos. And if you really want to, you don't got to, go ahead and follow the social media links that's down below. Until next time, I'll let you guys later. Peace and vibe higher, y'all. Y'all take care of yourselves.